I'm Peg Breen from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We're at Trinity Church in Lower Manhattan for another tourist in your own town adventure. Trinity is the oldest Episcopal congregation in the city. It received its charter from the King of England in 1697. This is the third church on the site. It's an early design by Richard Upjohn completed in 1846. It's one of the first Gothic revival buildings in the city with an exterior of New Jersey brownstone. It's a city and national historic landmark. With a 281 foot spire, Trinity was once the tallest building in the city. It still dominates the western end of Wall Street. The bronze entrance doors were conceived by Richard Morris Hunt and completed in the 1890s as a memorial to John Jacob Astor III. On the inside, a Reredosan altar designed by Frederick Clark Withers in the 1870s memorializes William Backhouse Astor Sr. The baptistry contains a 15th century altar and early Italian Renaissance triptych. The stained glass along both sides of the nave is considered to be some of the oldest in the United States. While the inside is full of history, so is the historic cemetery that surrounds the church. There are many Revolutionary War heroes buried here, and the headstones go back to the 17th century. Alexander Hamilton's grave is the most famous. Hamilton, of course, was a top aide to George Washington during the Revolutionary War. He was the youngest framer of the U.S. Constitution and the first Secretary of the Treasury. Hamilton was mortally wounded in an infamous duel with then Vice President Aaron Burr. Other heroes buried here include General Horatio Gates. He's credited with the victory at Saratoga. He served in the New York Legislature after the Revolution. There's a memorial to the Society of Cincinnati, officers of the Continental Army and Navy, as well as a memorial to the thousands of Americans who died in British prisons here during the Revolutionary War. Other noted burials include Francis Lewis, who signed the Declaration of Independence. Later burials include diarist George Templeton Strong and steamboat inventor Robert Fulton. While steeped in history, Trinity is very active today. There are regular services and tours throughout the week, a noted music program, several organized choirs, and extensive community outreach. Trinity Churchyard also provides a respite from the crowds of Lower Manhattan and a rare chance to physically experience the city and country's early history.